Next attack that we're gonna talk about, it's, it's a very famous exploit in most of the Android device. It's a vulnerability called the straight stage fright. <clears throat> and stage fright was found in 2015 in a lot of devices. <clears throat> and we're going to see how to exploit this vulnerability and to gain access to the device as well. But the objective of this lecture and the other lectures, it's not just to follow the steps or uh, to uh, execute some vulnerability and some exploit. It's, uh, uh, it's more into to know how to search for a weakness and then know how to get advantage and compromise a device using this weakness. So we did some search. We know that there is a vulnerability called stage fright. And then we're going to use the major framework, which is a metasploit, to gain access to the dev uh, devices. So let's see how to do this. I already have my uh, device on. Here we go. And <clears throat> we'll go to, uh, here we go. We'll go to our Kali Linux machine. And we're going to open a terminal and open MSF console. So we'll open the terminal and type MSF console and wait until it starts. Now, I believe by now you start becoming familiar with Metasploit, the free framework, because you know that there is a free one and a paid one. Still now, we don't need to pay anything. You can utilize the free. It's an excellent tool. And we're going to search, once it's start, we're going to search for uh, stage fright. And I have to say that stage fright allow you to do different kind of attack, including creating an MP4 file <clears throat> that if the user opens this file, you'll get access to his uh, device. But we will not be using this part because the stage fright that allow you to create an MP4, it's a very exhausting process. You need to download the file and change inside code and so on. I'm going to show you how to use this exploit in a very easy way. So we already found one. So we're going to type use and I'm going to put the pass <coughs> for this one. Use exploit Android browser. This is the one. <clears throat> till the end of it copy and <clears throat> paste then we're going to type show option to see what option is needed to execute uh, this uh, exploit so show option and as you can see I just need to change one value which is the SR host it should be your local IP from where the victim will be connected. And the UPass, which is the access, your pass. what access you're going to have for this device. So I'm going to type set SRV host, and we're going to put our IP, the Kali Linux machine IP 192.168.1.103. I'm going to keep the port the same way it is, and then I'm going to type set <clears throat> Sorry. Set U uh, R I pass and we put this the root sign and that's it. And we type exploit. You're going to start the handler to wait for the connection. And what you need to do, you need to send the victim this IP. Now, let's send it through an email and open it and see what will happen. So I'm going to copy that. And uh, let me open the browser. Mm -hmm. 
we're gonna see that you don't have to send it the same way it is, right? That you can change that uh, using those websites that change this IP to a shorten URL. So you don't have to worry about, you know, how I'm gonna send him the link because this will require some social engineering and some website and some tools. So it shouldn't be an issue. Right now, I want you just to focus on the attack. And as I keep saying, later on, you're gonna know how to tune this attack. But now we are proofing the concept. So let me open my mail and click on send. And uh, let's see, please check. You can do that by sending an SMS or uh, <clears throat> an email. And later during this course, we're going to take some tools and some application that allow you to uh, spoof the SMS. And I'm going to write uh, my email here, the testing email that I'm trying. Important. <clears throat> and send. Now, getting back to our mobile. Before opening this file or this link, we're going to uh, check here the status of the session. Nothing. It's working. So let me. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Let me go. To here and let's <clears throat> open my email and refresh and we're going to open the email here and assume that I did click on the link so let's see what will happen on our hacker machine as you can see he opened a meterpreter session to the actually more than one meterpreter session to the victim machine and if we type on session minus i i believe it's sessions Here you go, you have two sessions. You can log on to any one of those and you have full access on the device. This is how easy it is. The effort will be how to convince someone to click on the link. And this is actually, it's quite easy because the tools that exist right now will allow you to fake an email or fake uh, uh, an SMS or fake a mobile call. So it's quite easy to do that. So most of the Android devices are affected with this vulnerability. Next lecture, we're going to take some different framework and we're going to see how to compromise it uh, using these tools. Later on during this course, I'm going to show you some or how to tune this uh, those attack uh, and how to use them remotely, how to compromise systems that does not exist on the same network. And the attack will still the same, except we need to change some network settings, especially inside the router. So we're going to see that later on.